Good morning, everybody. It's Vapixie from Subjugated Gaming bringing you another episode of Horus Heresy Legions, King of the Hill. Now, this is Season 4, Episode 8. Yes, that sounds right. And last time we finished off with Tasa here, so we are going to continue playing this deck. And we haven't changed anything in it. I think it's okay as it is. Hmm, not too sure. I haven't really played around with it enough to know what's good and what's not. So we're just going to jump into the first game of the day and see how we go. So I do apologize for these matches. This is the first um, one I've played where it's been after the patches that just went live, nerfing Thiel and some of the and a bunch of changes to a bunch of other legions like Vulcan and stuff like that. So there's that. We want to keep Joker Company. The rest of this can go here. So I think the nerf to Horus with the three drop card is very very good um to make instead of plus four just plus one per enemy there is i think that's good um means they can't have as much burst damage on an empty field good double joker company neat that's kind of good for us in this matchup i think as long as they play their stealth cards don't really need both one would have been fine what do we got nothing to play end turn yeah um so also the thiel nerf, nerf is good Makes him not so overpowered, I think. Just makes him decent, finally. Like, he's still a good Warlord to play. He's just not super over the top. So, that's a thing, man. I thought his ability cost one because I'm used to playing Ulrak. But, all right. Um, what else? Vulcan might be okay now. I don't think he's very good. But he might be okay to play now. So, I'm keen to see where that goes in the future. Okay, that's fine. We just play Mr. Comrade Reapers here. Right? Yeah, we, we swing here and go, Mr. Comrick, thank you, and turn. Now, basically, Mr. Comrick will never die in our turn as long as we can spare two energy to buff it out. Which might not happen, but late game it does. Um, Can we get rid of that? Let me think. Not terribly easily, if I'm honest. It might just be worth taking the five damage here and getting it off board. I think that's the best here. The next time we can play the other Comic Reapers and buff with Survivor. I think. Gotta be really careful from here on out. Sure. Where's that going? Face. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that. We're on low health here, but I think we can push this back. Oh, I'm dumb. Whoops. That was a bad play. That's alright, though. Like, that was super, super dumb for me putting him there. Like, come on. Man, he's got okay. He's going for a lot of face damage here. I missed at least. What else you got? We, I think we dropped Joker Company on our turn regardless. Where's that going? Face? Yeah, you're just Russian face, boy. Okay. That's fine. Okay, we can deal with this. So we drop you, we use ability. This can swing here, and this can swing here. And that's fine. Might have to land Yara on our turn, actually. I'm in such low life. Oh, that's fine. No, no, actually, we land the other Joker company. And that'll die straight away. He's expecting our Joker Company not to kill it, but we've got both. That feels so good. That play right there might win us this game. I think this is a pretty bad matchup, at least for our build of the deck. For us. Okay, good. All right. Thanks very much. So that can go there. We can swing here. We can buff here. We can sacrifice that one. Get another four damage in. End turn. And that'll die. And now, do we win next turn? I don't think he can kill us. You know, he's used both chariots. He's used one of the one drop to deal to... I um, can't remember what it's called. Nah, I can't remember. But you know what I'm talking about. So, he can't... I don't think he can get us. Yeah, that'll help you a little bit. 9, 10, 11. Stun one of them, sure. I think 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've only got 10 damage. I 
I think I want to land Seducer here. That way we can do this. And now this kills him next turn. Oh wait, would, could we just... Oh, we could have just won anyways, we're dumb. We missed lethal there because we forgot he attacked. Whoops, if that loses the game, we deserve to lose. But I think he's relying on being able to attack. I hope. What could you have for four to kill us? Nothing. Yeah, okay, we win. We're okay. Oof. Yeah, he was hoping for the... No! No! <laughs> okay. Well, we misplayed to lose there. We very much misplayed to lose there. Okay. That's all right. We're back on Horus. I guess. So we do have to change that deck. Okay, so here's the deck. All I did was take out one Bane Strike round. I want to keep one in to test it and add it in a second quick fire. I think that's all right. Otherwise, the deck's the same. So let's get into it. I'm very mad for losing that game. Very upset because I misplayed. All right, what you got? Horus Mirror. All right. Horus still seems to be top dog around. We're going first here. That's nice. Monster can go. It's too early, but we'll keep the void engagement. What are we doing then? What you got? Let's raffle. That's not bad. Okay. We don't really want to play the Void Engagement turn one. We want to play the Abandoned Supplies turn one. That's for sure. And we get a Void Engagement. Okay. And we get Eventual Spirit at least. That's kind of nice. Um, we can swing here, I think. Next turn, Lazarus Rifle Swing. Void, got void Engagement. You know? Good stuff. Good stuff. Actually, we might not want to play Lazarus Rifle next turn in case he plays something fast or his own Lazarus Rifle. We might keep it in reserve for that eventuality. All right. Double Abandoned Supplies turn one. Neatos. Let's Void Engagement and see what we get. Miss, and we'll draw. And ready for a tactic? Nope, okay, that's all right. And if he doesn't do one of those things, we can just drop this guy and feel good because it doesn't die to Joker Company. That's why we're playing one of these and one of the... Okay, but he did, so that's why we play our last raffle here. Dip, and end turn. All right, we've got a pretty solid head, hand from here on out. Play the four drop for me. The five three with stealth, do it. Nope, okay. But there goes another one of his fast cards. Do we drop Joker Company here? No, I think we drop this guy and swing. If you use two of your fast things, you're going to be very hard pressed to kill this guy. Okay, there's outflank. We can take the outflank. Because we can drop our other guy next turn. I think I do want to drop Joker Company here. Just for the fact that it's going to be on the field for next turn to trade out with something. So we can drop this on an empty field. And he's already used an outflank. It's highly unlikely he's got another one in hand. Because I only play one. Some people do play two. I think a lot of people do play two. But sure. Sure. So it'll trade out. And that's what you're going for. Yeah, that's what you're going for. That's fine. Oh, do we go face? You know, what? we're going to go face here. Play this guy. I think that's not terrible. Just because we got Vengeful Spirit, we just got to bash him down a little. Outflank. Okay, well, he had the second one, unfortunately. But he'll probably be forced here to swing. And now we do have two outflanks as well. Ooh, he took the damage. That's good for us because we got our frag grenade. Uh, so we'll start with the frag grenade. And then we're all banned supplies. Okay. I think we're going to drop you, even though we don't really want to. And then we can smack face. Okay. This is our lethal range, right? So we've got 10 lethal range. Got to do 8 damage. Don't have Joker Company. Is basically, basically what we're saying here. All right. There's the Joker Company. That's fine. Man, you've drawn all your fast things. We can just outflank that. We know we've got one. We'll use this one that's created by What's His Face. So that's fine. Five, eight, three, four, five. Hmm. Or did we just stun it this turn? Now we've got another outflank, so let's just do that. Then we can smack you. Swing there. All we got to do is get three more damage in. 
I think we got this in the bag. I mean, we went first, right? So, like, if we didn't, we feel kind of crap. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I guess we stun one first. Oh. Well, that wins us next turn, then. Outflank the other. Swing place, quick fire, end turn. And now we win next turn. Probably. Unless he plays a frontliner. Actually, even if he plays a frontliner, then we win. He needs to play a frontliner and to heal at least one. Sure, stuns me. That's fine. And we don't care about that. Neat. I wonder what this is for. Interesting. And then we win. Neatos. All right, let's run another win with Horace. It's up to four this season. Let's get into another one. So I'm thinking of changing King of the Hill a bit and uploading it less frequently so I can upload other stuff. What I'm thinking is that I'll upload it like once a week, maybe twice a week. But don't do it by seasons of the ladder. Do it by patches of... Um, we're going to keep all of this, don't we? Stun you turn one. Yeah. So you can't play three drop. Um, do it by patches. So whenever there's a massive patch or a massive release, we can um, change Warlords. Sorry, reset the thing. So it's basically King of the Hill based off the power level. So we're basically finding out who's the strongest in the meta, sort of. I don't know. Let's just kind of make it make it a longer season. And that way, I'm not so stressed to get two or three out a week to get to the 10 every... Um, Every season, the current season, you know? And that means I can release other things like deck techs or ladder pushing or um, other games or... Um, what's the other one? Buddy... Events and stuff like that. I think we're just going to take the five damage here and then Chariot of the Gods. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Hopefully next time we can drop this guy. That'd be nice. We got some fast things in hand too, so that's good. That was a good hit for him to get off band supplies there. Okay. Am I okay without staying on the field? I don't think I am. I think I bounce it with Melgator, right? Yeah, let's do that. So we bounce you. We play fast guy, get the three, get the two, and turn. We've got this outflank and the smoke grenade, so if he plays big things, we're kind of okay for a few turns. And he, I don't think he can afford to just play a big thing this turn. Sure, that gets rid of that. That's what he got. Uh, yeah, due back. Okay. And then he plays this out again. I think we can ignore that. Right? Yeah, let's ignore it. Then we can get... Do we want to just, let's, three, four, yeah, let's do this. Now, all we need to do is swing at him once, and Ventral Spirit will kill him. We can outflank any big thing next turn that he plays in front line. He got heaps of health to survive. He has to trade out. That's totally fine with us. He's got heaps of cards in hand. What are you playing that we care about? Probably nothing with the outflank in hand. Okay, there's an abandoned supplies. I think he's digging for answers. Because he knows if we've got Ventral Spirit, he just loses, I think. There's not much he could do to get out of that. What you doing? Thinking? Doing a big thunk? A hand was pretty dope, this game. Okay, why are you doing that? So you can get us oh, done. Okay, interesting. I guess that makes sense. What do we draw though? Monster. Well, we just play that. That did buy him a turn. That was a good play by him. Like he still needs to play a frontliner, but if he does, this should be able to kill it, and then we can just swing Ventral Spirit. But it didn't make it so certain, you know? He is desperately trying to keep himself above 8 health, as you should against um, 
Sons of Horus deck. You always have to play as if they've got it in hand. Just like you've always got to play as if uh, Pride is in Emperor's Children's hands, you know? And, okay, nice. I don't think it matters. Now play a Joker Company. Playing Pride. Okay, it gets us to 10. I think he was just trying to show us that he could get us close. And this is te saying, telling me right now, you have Vengeful Spirit in hand or you lose. That's what this is saying. And we do have it. I mean, Chariot of the Gods would have also done it, but we wanted to show him the Vengeful Spirit at least. That we did in fact have it and he wasn't playing around it for no reason. Man, that brings Horus up to 5. Getting up there now. Neat. Let's keep going. Now, the time of recording this is the 12th of January. Uh, but the release time might be like the 20th. I'm trying to record a bunch of episodes in advance for when I go away. I can still upload some. Ferris Manus playing Ferris Manus. Okay. I think we can keep this hand. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. I don't know if, how aggressive we want to be turn one, whether we want to play the Void Engagement or not. We'll see. I actually think I want to draw turn one. Decent, actually. Our flank's going to be good in this matchup. For a card I'm playing a one-off, I've seen it every single game. Guess we'll greet back. Yeah, maybe that's fine. We'll just swing into it, I guess. Gotta get rid of it. Oh, let's do that. Decent, and we can void engagement. And... Let's ignore it, because we can bounce it when he buffs it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now we can say bounce you, play you. This can go here. From next turn onwards, we're feeling great. Swing face. Okay, we're feeling really good now. I would have liked, I would like to draw Joker Company, just because it's a 5-5 five, five body that we can play next turn. Hmm, maybe we don't then. Can we get rid of that any decent way? No, so we got to do Chariot of the Gods on it. Because that, that can get out of hand very quickly, that card. Oh, well. I think we just want to swing with that and turn. Like, drawing there could have been the play, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep Melgator alive here as well. Ouch. Well, we got to outflank that. Then we swing. I don't know why he's attacking us. He shouldn't be. Hmm. What big thing are you going to play now that we hate? Ah, oh, it's okay. We'll just play monster here. All right, yeah, we just play monster and go swing. And like bounce our Mogletor, you know? We might end up ignoring that if we can. And if this hits face and vengeful spirit, that's like 15 damage. We've got seven more to do to him. Between like... Gorgon Squad and the Bane Strike rounds, we might be able to get him still. We'll see how we go here. If he plays like a troop out, yeah, play one more for me. Yeah, I think Gorgon Squad, he's swing face, you might be, yeah. 7, 10, 13, so he can kill me next turn. Can we kill him this turn? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, and we can't kill him this turn. Hmm. Actually, we're in a bit of an issue here. Hmm. Wish we had a stun. How many cards in our hand? Nine. Let's draw. See if we're going to stun. Yes. All right. Played the odds there a little. Okay, decent. So three, six, seven, eight. You can hit eight. Hmm. I think I want to do this. And then turn, and then next turn we just Ventral Spirit him to kill him. If he can't kill us, that is. And he could just heal up here. And if he does that, we'll be feeling bad because he'll just swing one into here, kill it. You know, we might want to have put 
Um, the bane strike rounds are here. That might have been better, but who knows? Bane strike would be better if it was plus two for every troop. That way, if they had two troops on the field, it'd still be plus four. And I feel as if that's not so bad. I guess then if you have three troops, it's plus six, and that's pretty devastating. You know, put that on a goldstone, that's a lot of reach. Man, I can't believe we drew into that stun con there. That was so good. Okay, he's not going face. If he can't heal or play a frontliner, we win. Otherwise, we might be pretty stuffed, actually. Sure. You have got a six jump front. Okay, there's the heal. That's fine. Do we lose now? I think we might lose now. Let's start with that because we can't we can't kill him. Hmm. Let's play that for one. Cycle up a stun. Get a stun. Damn it. Give me a stun. Damn it. We play that and we go, well, whoopee-doo. Well done to him. Good to him. All right, there we go. Horace lost. So how many games is that? Four? Tarso lost then a couple of wins. Let me check real quick. I think we've got one more in us. Yeah, we got one more in us. Let's play Ferris. Let's build that deck. Okay, so here's what I've thrown together. Um, it's probably not the best Ferris deck, but we're playing Thunderhawk combo at the end. Into one of these guys, because the cleave is fantastic. It's a board wipe. Um, obviously, Astra, because Astra is insane. And one of these guys, because really, it's a worse Astra. It's a 10-10 with shield, and you get to pick where it attacks when you get it off the Thunderhawk. So it's not terrible. And then after that, it'll usually just go face unless they have a frontliner out or something. So let's just get into the last game of the day with this deck. All right, we got... Korax, Altart Korax, wow, I've not seen him on ladder for a long, long time, both of these can go, and we'll keep sister, we got a Thunderhawk, okay, well, this is not the best hand, but we'll see how we go, man, this art is good, I forgot how good the alternate Korax art is, because nobody plays him anymore, ah, good drop, good top deck, thank you, what do we get? Okay, cheap hammer. That'd be nice, actually, when he gets a couple of stealth things out. I'm not sure how this matchup goes, actually. Oh, that's what he got off his abandoned supplies? Jesus. Okay, um, well, we can't play sister here. Right? Well, we just... We do, actually. We, we gotta bait it, unfortunately. Ouch. Man, we, I think we've already lost this game. <laughs> this heals us five. Yeah, okay. Give us something we can play. Nope. Well, we swing there to get rid of it. And yeah, that happens. And then we heal up. Because we have to. Just don't heal yourself. And then we can kill you. Play something in stealth. And then we can hit everything for... What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we won't do that. We just might play the Corvin squad here. No, okay, he's going to do that. Hmm. Uh, how am I going to get rid of it? Literally had to do that, I think. Unfortunately, we drew this, and this is the one we want our flank for this matchup to get rid of the stealth options, but it is what it is. Okay, well... Terex squad, good. Terex squad, good. Buff one of them. Okay. We're still in 30 health, actually. We're not doing terribly here. Oh, well, um... This is annoying now. Well, we hope this hits here. If it doesn't, that's okay, I think. Ah, uh, we drew another one of our vehicles. Damn it. Stop. Shoot you. I'll buff you to a 5-5 five, five, and turn. Okay. This is kind of lame now without heals. We basically have to play the long game here. 
and get reckoning off and stuff like that. So that's the way we're going. Okay. Okay. I do think I'm going to play Thunderhawk here. Because we know what we're going to get, which is this guy. He comes out in the field. He swings there. We end turn. And now, whatever you play, unless you can kill that, it will die. Sure, you can draw some cards. Oof, okay. That's fine, though. And we're just going to kill that and play this guy. Just got to keep playing the big things and hope he can't deal with them. Eventually, we'll get a Reckoning off, hopefully. And deck's not really built for it, but we do have enough. Okay. You keep cycling. I want you to run out of cards for me. Edict hits one card. Which is fine by me. So we play you. We play you. We buff you. We get five damage in end turn. And we can win from here. That heal two on him is very annoying. There's, I think there's one of those in our deck. He happened to get it off Jubak, the thing that helped help him forever, which is annoying. But we have a lot of board presence. You know? So what can he do here? Sure, he can get rid of that. That's fine. And that goes face. Okay. I mean, I don't care about that. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to land Astra now. Well, we, we just do that. And that gets rid of that. And that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Let's land Astra here. Let's do it. And see what he's got. By the way, Thunderhawk, if you play it, unlike most of the other cards that draw a vehicle or draw a something, it says draw a vehicle, draw a card if it like draw a vehicle from your deck, give it flank and put it on the field. It will just draw you a regular card and not put it on the field if you don't have any vehicles. But it will still draw you that card unless they fix that glitch if it is a glitch, you know? I think we want to do this. Right? I mean, like, Frontline doesn't mean much to him, but it means much to other cards. So, I think maybe he's running for his, um... Reckoning. Yeah, there it is. Okay. But, I mean, he doesn't get stealth. Oh, he does now. Oh, they gave that back to him. Interesting. Okay, let's play this. You can't kill us, right? Pay two to give sentence one. Can act again. Okay. Well, we, we definitely play you. Then we want to buff... You. And then we want to end turn. And we can kill him next turn, right? He can't get stealth. He can give a sentence five, but that doesn't... Yeah, right? Sure. That doesn't help you too much. You can kill this one. But then that'll die to this. 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 18, 20, 22, 24. Yeah, we got you. Okay. All right, we got there in the end, guys. We uh, had a bit of a rocky start, but we got him. Got him there in the end. Sweet ass, so Ferris got a win. Hell yeah, guys. Ferris is bay. First guy I ever used to get to 4,000. So sweet ass. Well, that's it for this video, Season 4, Episode 8. 
Um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below to keep up to date. I'll keep posting, and I'll do some changes soon. Once I get my new PC, I can get my community King of the Hill set up so I can edit those properly, and they'll be up in the channel. You know, that'd be great. I um, hope you guys are still watching my World Cup videos. The season, th the round three ones were very, very good. I enjoyed those games a lot. Round four will be up at some point. I'm doing my games on Thursday, which is a few days away from now. So it's like four days away. So like the 15th or the 16th. I'll be doing my games, and then I'll, when I get back, I'll record them and upload them and stuff like that, so they'll be up for you guys. Um, join the Horror Heresy Legions Discord, join my Subjugated Gaming Discord, follow me on Twitter, I also post these videos on Reddit whenever I upload, so there's heaps of different places you can find out when I upload, but definitely subscribe. We hit 200 subscribers a little while ago, so that's awesome. There's actually quite a few videos ago, but like I recorded three already before this one, but when we hit 200 subscribers, so that's awesome. Other than that, have a good afternoon, and we'll see you later.